Okay, what we're going to look at today is this Dell laptop. It's a Dell Precision M. Mary 6500 laptop. And uh, this particular laptop here, it's, uh, it's not one of their newer models, but it's got an Intel Core i7 processor on it, which is a pretty heavy duty uh, processor. It comes with uh, 8 gig memory and it's got a 500 gig uh, internal storage uh, hard drive. Not a solid state drive, but just a regular uh, hard drive that spins. The only thing I can say about this this computer, that that's, this laptop, that's kind of uh, not, you know, one of my favorite things is that it's pretty heavy. It's a pretty heavy, uh, pretty heavy laptop. Like I said, it's not one of the newer ones, so that's one of the main reasons. As technology gets better, they get lighter and faster. But it's a pretty powerful com computer. That being said, it's got eight gig, eight gig of uh, memory. I think it'll go up to sixteen, and it's got a five hundred gig uh, storage hard drive, internal storage. So let's open this thing up and let's see what it looks like. So this is a pretty clean, uh, pretty clean machine actually, and it's pretty powerful. I can even do 4K editing on here. Not uh, not a lot of it, but uh, you know some of the not as dense 4K uh, video will work on here. HD video is no problem. You know 1920 by 1080 video on this machine, you can edit with it pretty good. 4K video, certain flavors of 4K will will edit pretty good. The the real professional raw 4K video like red video from the red camera it can't process this pretty good it just needs a faster processor and a faster video card but as far as a uh, lightweight 4k stuff like uh you know a lot of the uh gopro stuff can kind of handle that gopro 4k stuff and like i said as far as hd video 1920 by 1080 it will uh handle that pretty easily no problem let's check this thing out let's see let's start it up here we'll press the on button over here and see if it boots up here it should boot up let's wait for a little while here while it boots up and it's booting up right now and there's the Dell screen precision M6500 series so this one happens to have Windows uh, Windows 7 on it. You know, obviously you can get them with Windows 10 on them. And uh, you can still find them on the internet even though it's the, not the most current model. But uh, it's got some pretty good features on it. Uh, like it's got, it's even got a FireWire input in there. It's got phone jack. It's got USB 3, USB 2, it's got a SATA drive, it's got a, it's got a card drive right in here, SD card. It's got an expansion slot over here. You can get an expansion slot in there, that's that. Like I said, it, it, it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good system, pretty, uh, pretty heavy duty. So there you see the uh, Windows 7 uh, logo. Yeah, it does pretty much every, you know, your normal programs. And like I said, you could even do video editing on here. So let's look at, the, at some of the side panels here. Let's see here, to see some of the hardware. So if we put this up here like this, so we can look at it. Let's see. And yeah, there's the side, side panel right there. As you can see, it's got some uh, some pretty good connections for peripherals here. It's got uh, your USB. It's got uh, input for uh, headphones. It's got input for a microphone. It's got your SD card, and it's got a uh, slot loading uh, CD, so you can put a CD in there, and it'll burn CDs or DVDs as well. Let's look at the other side. As I put it up here, here's the other side. And what does it have on the other side? 
Let's see what it has on the other side. It's got wireless, because it is uh, wireless internet. You can get that wireless internet on or off right there. It's got an ethernet connection and it's got your VGA input there. And it's also got a SATA connector right there an eSATA connector and USB 3 or regular USB 2.0 and the front is pretty uh, you know pretty uh, pretty plain it just has the uh, little button in there so you could open up the top and the back it's pretty plain just as well it just got a uh, the connector there for your uh, for your AC, for your electricity, that comes with the power supply that you plug in there. And it's a pretty big power supply, but uh, in fact, I should show you that. Let's see if we can dig the power supply out of here. So here's the power supply. It's a pretty big, uh, pretty big brick, you know. But you know, one side's on there, and then the other side just regular uh, AC uh, power cord that goes to the to your wall socket. Let's put this away. And so that is the components of the laptop. Let's open this back up again. And there it is. And then it fell asleep, so we have to wake it back up real quick. And there it is. It's a pretty good, uh, pretty good system. You can get the internet on here as well, of course. So that's basically it. It's a Dell Precision M6500 laptop and uh, you can find it on the internet it's not like the most updated pc around laptop but it's a pretty good windows uh, laptop and uh, this one is definitely uh, capable up to most uh, most uh, jobs or most uh, programs to be able to be driven by it it's a very powerful computer these days you can get laptops that are almost as powerful as, uh, as regular desktop uh, computers. So that's it right now for the Dell Precision M6500 i7 laptop.